Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So as promised, I'm giving you guys some Ivory Park realness with this DIY video of how to make Beyonce's Ivory Park bodysuit as this has been circling around the internet for quite a while. I've been seeing so many celebs rocking this look and I really, really love it. So of course I had to recreate it. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So like I said from the first video, if you guys saw my haul of what I actually purchased for the inspired looks, I went for this Sainsbury's um, uniform jacket that I bought online. So I started off by removing the centre seam of the zip because I wanted it obviously to be a half zip and obviously we're going to make the two sides of the crutch. So I'm just unpicking the zip like so this took forever and then i'm going to go on to removing the pockets so once i had removed the pockets and the little name tag thing <laughs> and the zips um i was debating whether or not to keep the lining of the jacket because it was very very thick and i felt like it would have made the jump the bodysuit sorry look really bunchy and bulky so I decided to remove it so I just seamed it to the sides and then I decided to cut just up to the chest area so the bodysuit still has some structure but I was able to be pretty malleable with the bottom half of the fabric so I just did that on both sides so I'm just repeating the same thing I did the front with the back half removing the fleece lining on the inside and then this is what I had left to work with so I'm just going to sew it down the center line where I um, seam dripped the zip away so I'm basically closing the zip back up like so and then I also closed up the pocket hole holes that I um, seam ripped away as well Then once I was done closing up the centre zip, I decided just to hand sew the last little bit as the needle can't really go that close to the seam and obviously the rest of the zip is still there so it was quite bulky so I'm just cutting off all the excess fabric and hand sewing like so just to make sure the zip doesn't go anywhere when I do pull the zip down. Then I decided to put the jacket onto my mannequin just to see how it was fitting. So I decided to add two darts down the side just under the chest area as you guys can see. And then I really liked the shape of that. I gave it some structure. But then I also had to repeat the same thing at the back. But I wasn't sure how to go about doing the back yet. So um, I left the darts for the back but I'm just kind of pinning on my mannequin just to see how I like the fit of it and to make sure that I liked it. So in order to figure out how much fabric I wanted to take in I'm just kind of pinning the size of the fabric like so just so I can have a brief idea of how much fabric I need to get rid of. So once I was done pinning on my mannequin I established I wanted about three inches um, down from underneath the armpit area so I just measured that on both sides to make sure they were equal and then from the bottom of the three inches I just used my curve pattern tool in order to make kind of like the high crotch bodysuit pattern as you guys can see um, I love this tool it's such a lifesaver and then I'm just adding um, about half an inch seam allowance to each side like so I uh, no, actually I think I did an inch sorry seam allowance on both sides and then I'm just adding that to my markings and then I'm just going to cut this out so once I was done cutting I'm just getting my pins and pinning my seam allowance like so and then I just went to my sewing machine and sewed it all up. So for the back I basically did repeat the same step I did for the front but for the back I decided to fold it in half this time and then 
um, use my per my curve pattern tool to make the arch shape and then of course like I said the back was still a little bit baggy just at the bottom half of the back as obviously your back does have a natural arch so I kind of tried to do an arch resemblance shape with my curve pattern tool which kind of worked in a sense but um, it did leave a center seam line down the back which I was fine with but I went a little bit too far up um, near the logo which you guys will see later on um, but I just seam rip it a little bit further down later on but I just kept that seam before and then I tried a new trick which I haven't done in forever which was I was trying to trace the line that I did on this side in order to trace it on the other side so I had a tracing wheel but I didn't have any proper chase tracing chalk paper so the line didn't really come through that well as you guys can see so I kind of briefly just tried to copy whatever came through and then I just drew on the rest myself as you guys can see and then yeah that's how I managed to get the measurements on both sides and then I decided to pin some more of the center back line so it was just more equal and the line wasn't as harsh and then I just went to my sewing machine and sewed it all up so once I was done with that I was pretty much done with the entire shape and structure of the actual bodysuit but my problem as you guys know was the length of it and in order for it to be a bodysuit so I literally just cut a rectangle um, from some excess fabric that I cut away and then I just added it to the two bottom tabs of the bodysuit and then attached it together um, this is basically what it looks like I hadn't have a chance to um, order some popper fastenings in order to close the bodysuit up but this is the general shape of it so going on to the logos the one thing that i was debating about for ages so i decided in the end to go for putting the zip that i uh, that i removed from the side pockets onto the front half of the sainsbury's logo i felt like that was the best way for me to be like cheeky and show that this is what it used to be so if you unzip it you could see what the original garment was but obviously if you zip it closely you would never know so I just did that by cutting two little slits on each side of the Sainsbury's um, logo and then I just um, slid the zip into each side and then just pinned it in place like so and then I'm just gonna go to my sewing machine and sew that up so once i sewed the inside of the zip i decided to hand stitch the outside of the zip um down by hand so i basically just did a simple top stitch i felt like it was easier than me doing it with the machine and i could have used my zipper foot but i wanted to get as close as possible so i decided to just do it by hand um it didn't take that long and i feel like it came out pretty well so moving on to the back so as you guys can see the logo is much bigger and i was going to do the same concept by using the other zip obviously because there was two zips but it was just way too small so i decided to just get some excess fabric and cut out one long rectangle that was big enough to cover the whole logo and then i just hemmed it and stuck it on top and sewed it down Then I also decided to remove the little Sainsbury's tab on the zip by actually using some of the excess fabric that was part of the piping that was encased um, within the bottom half of the zip. So I just used some of that, sewed it together and then added it to the tab and removed the old one. Hey guys, so future me jumping right in. So before I show you guys the end result, I quickly wanted to just show this so as you guys can see i decided to make some socks i made the socks out of the leftover pockets from the jacket because i was just annoyed that the look wasn't finished because i didn't have any um burgundy or orange trainers and I, there was just no need to go out and buy them plus i didn't even have time to buy any so this is basically i wanted to try it out before i started filming I don't know if you guys can actually see it properly. Yeah, that's better. But anyway, yeah. These are my DIY socks. I've never attempted to make socks before, but this is how it came out. So all I did was basically, um, I removed the two fabrics together. So this is 
the first one from this one so I basically as you guys can see there's two parts to it so I seam ripped it open took them apart and then basically sewed it back together again I basically was trying to make um, heel socks but that plan didn't work because there wasn't enough fabric so I thought why not I use the fabric that's left over so that's what I did so I'm gonna make the second foot so this foot <laughs> isn't lonely and then I'll show you guys how it turns out I've seen with them apart now the two different sections so now I've got to separate focus the top half from the bottom half as you guys can see they're kind of not s glued together but kind of glued together it's literally like having sticky back paper and trying to find the beginning of it because this is a struggle sometimes oh my god I just had it where is it here it is okay and then you just pull it apart so basically now this is the one I did already and this is the one I'm gonna do so as you guys can see I don't know if you can see they're not the same size so I kind of had to stretch it so this is why it kind of gathered like that so I'm literally gonna repeat the same thing I did with this one with this one so I'm just gonna do a little curved line and then round up the ends and then round up the ends at the heel and then that will be my opening for my sock like that and then yeah that will be my second sock Guys, I'm done. These are my socks. How freaking cute. This is the first time I've ever made socks and I'm quite proud of them if I do say so myself. But anyway, enough with the stupid socks. On to the main event. Enjoy. Flash in the next clip where you guys will see the before and after. So this is my after guys, I'm really happy with the way it came out, I've had this idea in my brain for the longest time so it was so nice to actually just see it executed and here in real life. And of course I had to pair it with my Depop finds and I think these jogger bottoms go so well with it, you could never tell that this wasn't part of a set. But I'm really happy with the way it came out so if you guys did enjoy please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you guys are new to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.